today I have the pleasure of speaking with Frederick Kozak from Appia Rare Earths and Uranium. How are you today, Frederick? Very well, thank you, Tracy. Great to see you again. Well, allow me to start by congratulating you. Your most recent results, I think, are definitely an understatement. Would you not agree? Yes, I would. Uh, it's really quite remarkable what we are learning at Alsace Lake, and it just gets better and better. All right. Well, we started with assay results and discovery of a significant new mineralized zone at Alsace Lake. So what is that significant zone and what does it mean? So at Alsace Lake, Tracy, we've got some very high grade rare earths on surface in the WRCB area. And so we did quite a bit of drilling last year. We drilled uh, 55 holes, um, 5,000 roughly meters out of the 8,000 meters we drilled in total on the, on the claims block. And to our surprise, pleasant surprise, we have found another zone of rare earths. And we're calling it the AMP or AMP zone. And uh, our news release, unfortunately, was quite technical, uh, relatively speaking, but the, it is a zone of lower grade rare earths. But the good news is we've penetrated it with every single drill hole that we put into the WRCB area. And more importantly, it is known thickness of 10 meters or more everywhere underlying what we have drilled at WRCB. So it is really something quite significant and um, more, more news to come because we're drilling right now at Alsace Lake. We've been drilling there since mid-March and we're drilling on another uh, project that's a kilometer and a half away that looks like something similar to this AMP zone, but much, much thicker. Well, stay tuned on it. We've got assays to come. So, Frederick, I think if I hear you correctly, um, the last news release, I was going to ask you that question, was indeed quite technical. You found a second zone of rare earths, but if I also understand correctly, they're still very near the surface. Is that correct? This new zone, the AMP zone, starts at surface and is, is visible on a, on a relatively constant dipping plane under the surface. And uh, yeah, it's, it's not something that we were expecting to find, but uh, the assay results uh, have shown us we've got something very interesting here. And so for those of you out there in the race to rare earth production, actually, I think uh, someone mentioned to me that the new, uh, uh, new theme should be sprint to rare earth production. How is Appia doing presently? Well, we are in the middle of our largest ever drilling program at Alsace Lake. We've talked about being able to drill uh, oh, 12 to 20,000 meters this year. We started drilling in March, as I mentioned, and uh, we're gonna have an update on our drilling progress, uh, hopefully in the next week or so. And that will, that, will really give the, that will really give investors a good idea of how we have been progressing uh, we're very pleased with what we're finding. It's uh, just to recap, I mean, the Alsace Lake claims block has 27 square kilometers of high grade rare earth mineralization on surface. So there is something very important and very large going on here. And we're, you know, we've been working there since 2017, drilling started in 2018. We're on the verge of finding, well, we are finding things that are very, very, going to be very valuable in the, as you said, the sprint to uh, rare earths and rare earths metals in the Western world. And of course, in addition to that, you know, we're actually working on panels for PDAC. You're going to be at PDAC, right, Frederick? Absolutely. Yep. And um, at PDAC, I was working on some panels for the Investor Intel Media booth. And I'm like, rare earths, because we love to talk about rare earths, of course, at Investor Intel but we also love uranium and you have five mineralized projects, right? Yeah, yeah. we've got four in Saskatchewan, all mining block claims that, uh, that Appia has held for a period of time. One of them uh, we relinquished and then added back last year. And don't forget uh, the, the uh, historic Elliott Lake Camp uranium project that uh, Appia is also holding that uh, was... Uh, Oh, gee, Elliott Lake has seen, the area has seen 300 million pounds of U308 produced historically. So uh, 
that's also part of the uranium portfolio at Appia. So you're almost too good. You've got too many good things. You've got rare earths that people are talking about. Jack Lipton often tells me you have the best monazite in North America or rare earths. We heard this from a few sources. And of course, you have uranium projects as well. And we, we, we all know we're in a uranium bull market. So what are you going to be touting at PDAC? Yeah, Tracy, we will be at PDAC. And if you'd like to have a meeting with myself or our CEO, Tom Drivas, we'd love to meet with you. Um, send me an email, fkozak at appiareu.com. And uh, you can also see our, uh, our email addresses in our news releases on appiareu.com. Well, Frederick, as always, it's a pleasure. Again, congratulations on your most recent assay results. Um, I have to confess that it was Jack Lipton that talked me through them. And uh, I think he actually used the term blockbuster. So congratulations. And thank you so much for an update on Appia Rare Earths and Uranium. Thank you very much, Tracy. See you at PDAC.